hello and welcome back to my channel glory to jesus honor to mary and joseph this year the fourth sunday of advent falls on december 24th christmas eve the next day is monday december 25th the solemnity of the nativity of the lord that means the faithful must attend two masses back to back to meet their sunday and christmas day obligations in a newsletter issued in early 2017, the last time Christmas Day fell on a Monday, the U.S. Catholic Bishop addressed questions regarding whether Sunday and Holy Day Mass obligations can be fulfilled with a two-for-one Mass attendance at Christmas this year. Because Catholics are obliged to attend Mass on Sundays and Holy Days of, of obligation, some have asked whether a Sunday evening Mass on Christmas Eve would fulfill both the obligation for a Sunday Mass and the obligation for a Christmas Day Mass. However, the U.S. Bishops' Committee on Divine Worship had said the faithful should attend two Masses to fulfill their Sunday and Christmas Mass obligation. Since the mid-20th century, the Church has allowed Catholics to attend Vigil or anticipated Masses for Sundays and the Holy Days of Obligation as a convenience for many of the faithful. Most canon lawyers defer to Venerable Pope Pius XII's Apostolic Constitution, Christus Dominus, which gave 4 p.m. as the earliest time when anticipated Mass may be scheduled. The bishop said in their 2017 letter, This means that the Sunday obligation for December 24 can be fulfilled on Sunday or any time after 4 p.m. on Saturday, December 23rd, and the Christmas Mass obligation can be fulfilled on Monday or any time after 4 p.m. on December 24th. In the case of two consecutive days of obligation, as at Christmas this year, the prevailing view of many canon lawyers is that each obligation must be fulfilled with a separate mass, the bishop said. Thus, when conservative obligations occur on Saturday, Sunday, or Sunday, Monday, the faithful must attend mass twice to fulfill two separate obligations. According to the bishops, the question of whether such obligations could be fulfilled in one mass has been raised before by bishops in a dubium, which was answered in the negative by the Sacred Congregation for the Clergy and approved by Blessed Pope Paul VI in 1970. The Church's intention in extending the possibility of meeting mass obligations through vigil masses while intended to make it easier to fulfill obligations was never envisioned, envisioned as a legal loophole and hence separate obligations remain, the bishop said. The bishop emphasized that they hoped that Catholics foster a love for the sacred liturgy and hold a desire to celebrate the holy days as fully as is reasonably possible. They also noted that pastors may grant dispensations to individuals or families for a just cause and subject to any regulations laid down by the diocesan bishop. At the same time, diocesan bishops may examine their regional circumstances and grant general dispensations or commutations while permitting their pastors to make judgments in individual cases. So, this year you must go to Mass for both Sunday and on Christmas Day. So, prepare yourself and prepare your mind that you are going to attend two masses both on sunday 24th and on christmas day monday 25th thank you very much for watching if you have followed us to this please as you watch click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be first to not be notified merry christmas to you all please like and share these videos to others so that they will know their obligations 
thank you very much god bless you bye bye ave maria merry christmas